FMF World, a entire mod dedicated to FNAF World. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I actually love FNAF World. No joke, it is a game I have played more than anybody else I know. It gets a lot of hate and is considered one of the worst FNAF games of all time, and then there's me who thinks it's one of the best. I don't know, it's just a lot of fun to play, I love its art style, I like a lot of its little secrets, it's just a lot of fun to come back to and play over and over again. So you knew I was gonna be immediately intrigued and interested in a mod that's dedicated to it, and... Well, it's, uh... Actually pretty good, I'll admit. Before I went into a deep dive for the mod, on a surface level I didn't think it was really anything impressive. There was a few songs I liked, but I didn't think that the overall execution was very good. Now I'm a bit more on the other side of it. I like quite a few of the songs, however, I do feel like there's a few areas where this mod could use some serious improvement. Especially when it comes down to the OST, which is of course the part that I'm always the most interested by when it comes to a mod. Now. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Fred Bars, usual joke song. Um, it, it is what it is, but yet this one is getting a slight pass from me on account of one thing, and that's because they used the voice lines from FNAF World that were supposed to be bad, and then they put it into the song as... Fred Bear's vocals and I think that's actually clever and that's funny and it kind of makes me wish they made a, a an actual song using this chromatic as a joke song like they kind of it's like it's supposed to be bad but it's actually good kind of thing but they went the easy route and just made a really bad joke song so you know it, it is what it is moving on Okay, I know that Fred Bars is ranked lower than this, but like, this might just be my least favorite song of the mod. Even though it's better than Fred Bars, I really do not like Isolation. The beginning is actually kind of nice, it sounds alright, the instrumental is boring, but like, it's serviceable and it actually starts off not so bad. Then the little voice line is kind of nice too, but then Henry starts singing and it's just so boring. This first half is not engaging to me. I mean, it's just, it's fine enough, but really, really meh. Henry's vocals are especially plain and Boyfriend is compressed. Yippee, my favorites. Ugh. They try to speed it up with more notes and it just makes it sound messy and... Yeah, to say the least, I am not a fan of this first phase. Is it atrociously bad? No. But is it extremely boring? Yeah, it is. And then there's a second half where it's Circus Baby and her vocals sound horrendous. I'm, that is an awful chromatic for Baby. It's really, really bad. It sounds so overly high-pitched and it's just all messy. It's not intense. It just sounds bad chaotic. Yeah, I do not like the second phase. Because the first phase, it's like, okay, maybe it'll build up and be really good in the second phase, but no, it's somehow worse than the first phase, because at least with the first phase, I'm just bored. The second phase is just annoying. Yeah, isolation sucks. How did they take, arguably, one of the coolest little moments of FNAF Worlds, and the ending of the game, technically speaking, and they made the worst song of the mod. At least Fred Bear, Fred Bars, I can get some ironic enjoyment out of it, but this, it just get nothing, but at least it's trying. Ugh. So they kept on searching left and right, up and down, deep and wide. 
Yar Har is... Wow, okay, I feel bad because this is Foxy, he's my boy, I love Foxy, but I don't love this song. It is... It's... Where do I begin? Foxy's chromatic is... Eh, I mean, is it a bad chromatic? Not really. It's a bit overly loud and doesn't say... It just doesn't sound like Foxy to me. It sounds like a baby Foxy, if anything, and... Now even then, I hesitate with that. Occasionally the chromatic can sound alright, but that's kind of the best I got. There's a couple of melodies here and there that are okay in a vacuum. The instrumental is really nothing special, it's just generic. There's no pirate kind of energy here. It's all just so plain and I don't like it. Is it really bad? No, it's just kind of eh, bad. But, yeah, and then this one's also just feels so short. It feels like it's over as pretty quickly as it started, and that's a shame. This one, I... Mm. It's a shame, because again, I do love Foxy, but... Uh, this song did not do him justice. The chromatic, the instrumental, the melodies, the pacing, it's all just sloppy. Back to basics, Freddy's song. You know, this song is only scoring higher than Yar Har for literally one reason. And that's the instrumental, because this instrumental is really good. Like, I genuinely like it. But... Ooh... Freddy's vocals, man, they are just not good. I don't really even know exactly how to describe it, but it just sounds so off. In fact, when I was checking this mod out with a close friend of mine, he made a joke where he said that Freddy kind of sounds like a high-pitched Sans, and now I can't unhear it. Also, the duet with Boyfriend and Freddy Ooh, it's very messy. They both feel like they're on the same level of volume. Neither one of them takes the lead in the duet, like being the louder vocal, so having the stronger melody. They're both like on the same level, and it's just imbalanced, and it all does not mesh well. And the vocals especially do not mesh well with the instrumental itself. That being said, there's a two moments in the song that I can think of that are alright, and that's near the beginning, it's okay, Freddy's vocals are off, but at least the melody is okay, and then this slower section is kinda nice, but then it gets ruined by a duet immediately after. It's such a shame because the beginning of the song sounded like it was gonna go really hard, and the instrumental was gonna be- it, 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 okay, in fairness, the instrumental is really good. but. The execution with these vocals just hurts, man. And we're done with the bad songs. Now we just get into the... Eh, songs, which you start with time. I don't think this song is bad, like I said, but this one's just kind of, eh, I think it's all right. I think this beginning is kind of nice. It feels ominous and very empty, which is the point. But, um, I don't know, this one's, it's... I don't even know how to describe it. There's just really not much to talk about here. I see some people praise this one and say that it's really good and... It's... I can sort of see the appeal, but this one didn't really click for me. 
it's fine, I guess. And this middle section is actually pretty good. I like it. But the beginning just takes a bit long for me. And the ending just doesn't really do much either. The song is very simple. The melodies are fine, but they don't really... They don't stay with me. Like some other songs that are higher on the list. There's nothing here that I can outright say is bad, but there's also nothing here that I can say is really good, only solid at best. In fact, that's just kind of this whole song. It's okay. Say my name. Man, I like this song. It's kind of like that one... I didn't expect there to ever be a nightmare song. Especially for Versus FNAF 4 of all things. But you know what? This one's actually kind of nice. I enjoy it. It's weirdly catchy. It's very interesting the first time you hear it. But the more times you listen to it, the more... Wait, what do you mean I'm talking about the wrong song? What? The other Say My Name? Oh, I'm talking about the wrong mod. Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> let's get into the actual one, my bad. Uh, oh. Oh, it's a Shadow Bonnie song. Oh, that immediately makes more sense now. Oh, that's, it's cause the, in the FNAF world, Shadow Bonnie's name is this weird jumble of letters. That's, <laughs> whoops, that's my bad. Um, this one's actually not bad of a song. It's alright. I think the beginning is a nice build-up in the instrumental, but Boyfriend's notes don't really build up. They just start loud, and I'm not entirely a fan of how it sounds. It makes the opening feel very messy. That being said, when Shadow Bonnie starts singing, yeah, that melody is really catchy. That bum, bum, ba, da, dum, like, that's... It's pretty good. I don't like how they have the Mimic Ball with Virtual Freddy. That's a cool little nod. That being said, I feel like this song kind of peaks with its main melody and it keeps falling back on it. It doesn't really... I mean, it changes up that melody throughout the song, but it, it really does feel like the whole song is just that melody. Mm. Also, the duets are fine but not anything fantastic. And then the song kind of does that thing in some FNF songs where once they hit like a high point, it kind of reset it and almost like pull it back towards the beginning. And the song kind of does that, but... I mean, actually, yeah, it basically does that, except instead of Boyfriend being the one that's singing, it's Shadow Bonnie. And then there's Shadow Bonnie's chromatic. Virtual Freddy's chromatic is fine enough, but Shadow Bonnie's is, uh, it's not bad, I guess, but not really a fan of how it sounds, especially when there is a much better Shadow Bonnie chromatic in the community. I mean, yeah, Versus FNAF will forever have the best Shadow Bonnie chromatic, but I'd say that even the Orpal guy's Shadow Bonnie had a better chromatic. No, I'm not going to say that Funkin' at Freddy's is a better Shadow Bonnie chromatic. That one is just a bad chromatic through and through. This one's just kind of a mediocre chromatic. It doesn't really feel like Bonnie that much, but it does have that kind of glitchy nature of Shadow Bonnie. And near this ending bit, they do change it up a bit, which is kind of nice and doesn't make the song feel nearly as repetitive, except none of the melodies here in this section stand out very much to me either. Sounds like I don't like this song very much and it should rank a lot lower, right? Well, there is a few things saving it. For one, the instrumental is really good. It's very solid. I mean, it's standard and it's not my favorite instrumental ever, but it's a solid instrumental. And again, that main melody is really catchy and I'm glad that it does come up throughout the song and it changes up enough so that way the song isn't repetitive. 
Overall, there's a lot of things I don't like about this song, but there's enough for me to like to say it's an alright song. Universe End. Okay, you know what? I kind of like this one. It's not great or anything, but it's alright enough. I like this opening. That beginning instrumental note is really nice. Kind of sad that it doesn't come back at all throughout the song, and instead kind of switching up to more of a... How do I describe it? Kind of rockish. Which is a nice change of pace for the OST. I think the melodies from both Fredbears are pretty good, and that's also partially part of the problem of the song when they do wet. There's kind of overlap, and it doesn't sound the best. However, this entire opening minute of the song is really overall good, and I also like the little glitchy notes since this whole song is supposed to reflect this chaotically glitchy ending. I also like in order to distinguish and not make the song feel overly repetitive, they kind of change up the instrumental from time to time, but they don't full send it, especially for this chorus they have in the song. So overall, I think everything here is executed fine, but it's not much beyond that. And I gotta admit, the ending is especially underwhelming. I feel like they should have built it up a bit more, had it just go completely crazy right as they both explode, instead of it just kind of happening without any real build-up. Like, they start to build it up, but they never quite reach the final build-up. It just ends right there, and that's a real shame. Because I think the song could be a lot better, but as it is, it's just... It's, it's just fine. Adventure! It's the Fredbear song, and it's the first song of the mod. I'll be honest, I like this one. It's a nice little remix back of the original FNAF world melody where you're actually talking to Fredbear, which is... I think that's solid, and it works well as an introduction for the mod. The melodies are nice. And Fredbear's chromatic is... You know what? Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think it's amazing or super exceptional, and again, none of the chromatics in this mod are, but I think it's pretty good. I like Fredbear and Boyfriend's duet, I think it sounds pretty good, and this instrumental is really upbeat and catchy. Yeah, I like this instrumental quite a bit. Like, every other song has its pretty big issues, or it's just nothing really exciting for me, but this was the song where we go from eh to I really like this stuff, because Adventure is very solid. I could see more being done here, like make the instrumental even more, how do I say this, more, not jazzy, but just more happy, you know? Because as it is, it is a it's kind of repetitive of an instrumental and doesn't really go anywhere. The melodies are all solid, even though I think there could be a little bit more to it. Like, this song is good, but I could totally see a better version of it, with just more being added to it. Make it far more energetic, maybe speed it up a bit, I'm not really sure exactly. I just think that this song is solid and works very well as an introduction for the mod.
I was not expecting, of all the songs, Red Lake to be a song that got this high. But I grew to really like it. Also, this is the third time now I've talked about Old Man Consequences in an FNF mod for one of my videos. There was Go Fish from Orpo Guy, which was honestly just a really catchy song, all things considered, but it didn't really feel like it fit Old Man Consequences very much. A great song, but not necessarily one that fits the character. And then there was Consequences, which did more to fit the character, but was also extremely boring. Then there's this one, which I think strikes a very good balance between a good song and capturing the character. This song right here, in terms of just fitting the character and the theme and tone of Old Man Consequences, this is the best song of those three. No competition. That being said, I don't entirely love it as a song. I just really like it as a song. Old Man Consequences Chromatic is good, except it is a bit quiet. Which is a shame. I also think it takes a little too long to get started. Like, this whole instrumental opening thing could have been cut down. Because as it is, it just doesn't really feel all that necessary. Boyfriend is fine, honestly. I don't feel like he needs a huge amount of improvement. The instrumental is overall solid, I don't really have any gripes with it. I think it's a good instrumental. I think the beginning is pretty good, and then there's this nice slow part, which admittedly maybe lasts too long, at least in my opinion. I feel like you could have trimmed this part down, maybe with that instrumental pause between the first and then this phase. That could have been cut down, you could have just transitioned it through the notes. Because as it is, that instrumental pause feels a little unnecessary. And then there's the ending, which, although it could have done more, I think it still sounds really nice. The duet between Boyfriend and Old Man Consequences is really good. Yeah, I think it's just really nice as a song. It fits really well. I did not think I was gonna like Red Lake as much as I did, but hey. It's a solid song. I used to hate this song. Birthday Cake was a song that I just did not like. And admittedly, that's primarily on this opening. I think Chica's Chromatic was just too loud and did not sound good. And I think when Chica is singing solo, it's a bit of a hit or miss. Sometimes she sounds good and sometimes she sounds bad. Yeah, but then once the instrumental starts being a lot more focused and... I like it! It's very silly and catchy and fun. This is just Rummager from Versus FNAF 1, but better. I think it fits Chica's silliness and how much she's associated with that kind of being the goofball of the four. At least, that's how the fans mostly perceive her. Which I like. And this duet, <laughs> which comes back later in the song, is honestly really good, and I wish it got talked about a bit more, because it's really nice. Chica's long notes, along with Boyfriend's long notes, every time, back and forth, is pretty good. Although, Chica's quicker notes are a bit hard to hear. And then you get this long, kind of, solo bit for Chica, and then returns back with Boyfriend, which... I think it's pretty good. And the instrumental takes a little bit of a back pedal, which... It sounds really good, actually. I like the more focus on the vocals here. 
Again, Chica's Chromana could use some work. It's not great, but it's grown on me, and admittedly, I think it's actually pretty solid. And right when you're thinking, okay, is the song about to wrap up? That duet part hits back up and sounds even better than it did the first time. Yeah, I really like this duet section. It's just so catchy and redeemed the song a lot for me. The opening isn't great and Chica's Chromana could use some work. But overall, I think this song is really catchy. I love it. Also, I like how Boyfriend just has this pop-off ending and it just cuts away. That's a good way to have a song just stop like that. PB and Jam. Yeah, Bonnie easily has my favorite of the four main character songs. I guess you could also throw in Adventure since it's the opening song, but like... Either way, Bonnie still has a better song. Bonnie also has my favorite Chromatic. Not just of these characters specifically, but I think he has probably my favorite Chromatic from the entire mod. Okay, there's one other chromatic that I think is slightly better, but we'll get there when we get there. I love the energy of this instrumental, it's just so intense, and the melodies here feel so cohesive. It just really works. They took the great instrumental of Back to Basics, they gave it that catchy, upbeat energy of Birthday Cake, but they also gave it kind of the simplicity Adventure had. What did Yarhar contribute to this one? I thought you got me. Yeah, I genuinely just like this one. There's a lot of good back and forths here and there. I like how it does kind of slow down near the middle. You get all that big energetic first half, and then this part slows it down. It doesn't keep the energy just non-stop going, which is good. Some songs tend to do that. Although, admittedly, I think it's a little bit repetitive during this part, which dragged down a bit for me. Speaking of which, yeah, actually, I think that's the biggest problem of the song. It's just a bit repetitive. Especially during this part in specific. Like, you think that this is the end of the song, but not quite. Because Bonnie has one last surprise in store. And that's that guitar solo. Well, it's not actually a solo, because Boyfriend still sings throughout. But the fact that Bonnie gets to play the guitar is so good. I was really hoping that he would. And the fact that he ends the song like this is really nice. But given how they just played this melody, but with Bonnie's normal chromatic a moment before, does make it feel a bit repetitive. However, I think it's redeemed by this ending section, which is just really good. One other gripe is that I really do wish that this song had an extended ending. Like, right after that big pop-off, they kind of have, like, a really... A nice slow fade-out. That would have done the song better than just the cut-off that it has.
Holy. I was surprised with how much I ended up liking this song. Also, it's a very nice coincidence that you happen to play as Bonnie in FNAF World during this part of the game. And Bonnie also has my favorite chromatic. That is just fate for me. <laughs> yeah, because Bonnie sounds even better here than he did in PB and Jam, and he already sounded good in that song. And then there's, of course, Withered Foxy himself. You know how I said there was one chromatic I think is slightly better than Bonnie's? It might just be Withered Foxy. I really like the way his chromatic sounds. It has this nice gruffness and intensity and almost this growl to his voice that's very fitting for his character. This opening is nice, a little bit slow, but then it kicks up right afterwards and... Oh yeah, the song goes from alright to really good. I seriously just love how this bouncy this instrumental is. In fact, back on Withered Fo Foxy's chromatic, I gotta admit, it's actually almost a little bit sad for me, because y'all know I'm probably the biggest Versus FNAF fan. At least, vocally. I love that series of mods, but I gotta admit when someone does something better than that set of mods and... Withered Foxy's chromatic here is a million times better than the one used in Versus FNAF 2, which really says to how much I like this chromatic and how much I like this whole song. His pacing is really good, and the melodies are all very catchy. Again, beginning is a bit slow, but then once you get into it... Mmm, it's so good. Admittedly, I think there's a bit of a missed opportunity here. I kind of wish that Bonnie got to play his guitar here in the song somewhere. Maybe near the ending with one last battle off. That probably would have sounded a little bit cooler than how the ending sounds, since the ending is a bit... Tonally, it's kind of the same as a lot of the rest of the song. Well, when I say ending, I don't mean that last section where it's a wine town. I more mean the more intense part of the ending. I wish Bonnie got to just play his guitar one more time. That would have been cool. But he doesn't, and it's fine. It's not like it's taking away from the song. It's just a missed opportunity, in my opinion. Overall, I really like this one. And it looks for a moment like this could be my favorite song of the mod, but there was one song that I think just... It did pretty much everything Flea does, except... way better. And... Almost everybody that I've ever seen talk about this mod generally seems to agree that the one song I have yet to talk about is, if not the best, it's at least one of the best. Head Trip is one of the most slept on songs in this entire fandom. I mean that. Yeah, people will recognize this as one of the best songs of this mod, but outside of that, I don't see this this song get much attention, and that is such a shame because oh, do I absolutely love Head Trip. Nightmare Boyfriend's vocals are really solid. I guess they don't entirely sound like Boyfriend to a degree, but I don't care because I adore how they sound regardless. Boyfriend also sounds the best in this song out of all of them. He just has this nice bouncy energy to his vocals that none of the other songs really had. I also love how the song starts off with the Toreador march. Oh, that's so good. 
every single melody in this opening, this first minute or so, is really solid, and I was already loving it. But then that transition into the much more intense and fast pace. Ooh, it's really good. The instrumental just kicks it up and Boyfriend and Nightmare Boyfriend just have this really good chemistry with their vocals. Even when they duet, I think it sounds awesome. Nightmare Boyfriend just having this mechanical effect to his voice while Boyfriend sounds so much more natural. Nightmare Boyfriend taking in the deep vocals at its best, Boyfriend taking the high notes at his best. It's such a good balance and such a good chemistry. And look, Unbeatable is one of my favorite FNF songs of all time. Basically, almost everyone knows that at this point. So if you're like me and you love Unbeatable, you pretty much have to give some credit here to Head Trip because this melody, the bum bum ba da dum, that a lot of people love in Unbeatable. Head trip here had it, so thank you, Head Trip. Other unbeatable fans say thank you. This song deserves some credit for that melody, because it sounds really good in here. But then again, all of the melodies in Head Trip sound really good. I have little to no complaints. The only thing maybe I could ask for is a slightly more intense instrumental, I guess, during the fast-paced section, but. I'm not really complaining about it, because, yeah, I absolutely love this song. It's so good. And finally, I've talked about FNF World. Yeah, I was supposed to talk about it, like, a long time ago. <laughs> and, uh, well, not a long time ago. I was supposed to talk about it after I was done with Step Right Up, but then I forgot, and I did the spooky video. Now I'm here. Oof. That's my mistake. But yeah, I really like this mod. I totally see that this mod needs a lot more polish, but what is here seems really cool. And a version 2 is apparently going to happen at some point, which, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, here's my tier list. I think this OSD is overall pretty solid. There's some bad ones, but I think the good stuff outshines the bad stuff for me. And with FNF World done, now I've got to move on to another mod. And, well, I think it's about time that I finally get around to... <sighs> Gorefield. Oh boy. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.